what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're gonna do a preventive maintenance on my b8 s4 now today we're gonna change the oil of this car and also I'm gonna change a cabin filter inside and I also have certain additives that will help prolong the engine and last I have an additional part of the engine that in my opinion should be important for this car so for the Audi I have 5w40 engine oil um, for me, I prefer Lake Molly. Also, I have, I have injector fuel cleaner. Oh God, anti-friction engine treatment. I have a basic fuel filter and cabin filter. And for the oil, like I said, seven quarts. So I got the car on the ramp so we can get under the car to perform the oil change. Before I get under it, First thing first, I always release the oil cap. So, I believe this is the Allen. So I have a Allen size. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see six. So this is a half inch socket setup, and pretty much fits perfectly fine. Like um like no play, well, little to no play. So shouldn't be tight. Especially when we remove the cap up top, it should be a lot easier to release so we could drain the oil. So I almost forgot. Um due to the design of this oil drain plug, it's directly downwards. So once you start removing it, it's gonna drain like that. I highly recommend to minimize the mess on your hand to so go ahead and uh get some gloves it's gonna be really messy really messy i just try to unscrew it quickly as possible and voila i'll let it sit on that so it'll drain for the most part it's almost drained i'm gonna go ahead clean the drain plug place the washer and uh, tighten it up after replacing the oil filter and after replacing the oil filter and the seals and everything put it back together tight it you tight it rush you just you could hand tight it or you could do it by the exact torque by Newton meters what's so actually on the top of the cover um, and right after that and now we're gonna go ahead and put some oil in the engine. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put anti-friction engine treatment. Oh yeah, get that all in there. If you leave any excessive mess around you know go ahead and clean it up uh, I already cleaned up over there uh, luckily there was nothing major but try to keep your engine bay clean something is really a bad idea to have oil lingering around mainly because it will cause some you know smell and you know you just don't want oil anywhere else but in the engine now I'm gonna put the cap back on, make sure it's secure. And the next step, start the engine and see how it sounds. So, Car is pretty much warmed up. 
everything sounds good. Um, in the meantime, while I have the engine running, I always check if it is off or any odd sounds. This is how you can get to know your car. Just the sometimes the little things that doesn't sound right. If you can respond to that quick enough, you might save yourself a lot of money, and you know, possibly saving the, the engine. But uh, everything sounds good. Can't complain. You would have think we'd had a dipstick, right? Wrong. It doesn't. At least they give me the option. So I highly recommend anyone, any person who has a car that has the option to get a dipstick, go get one. If that sensor fails, which is not likely, but if it fails, you do want to have another source where you could tell where your arm, your oil level is. So at least with this, I can tell I'm at my max, all is good. And also to see how um, my oil pipe looks. If it's too dark, if it's, you know, if it's bad or anything like that. So I highly recommend anyone and everyone to get invest. I got this for what, like three bucks on Amazon. I'll say this is one of the best ways, best thing you can do for your engine. So to reset the oil, the oil light or service interval for the oil change, you hit a uh, car and then we'll go to settings. You can scroll down till you'll see service interval display. And then from there, you're going to see the next oil change is due 4,400 miles or 178 days. Um, and I go ahead and click on the reset oil change interval and it'll be yes, I'm sure. And oil change has is been changed. Now it says it recommends every 10, but for me, I'm different. I gotta change this sucker every five, no more than five. I mean, if I'm going over five up to me, I'm testing the waters. If you want to go buy 10, what's the manufacturer recommend? By all means. But I'm a little bit more in, I'm I'm a little bit more uh OCD if the if it's the best way to put it. But uh that's it. When it comes to the oil, when it comes to the oil change, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and start it one last time. Sounds good. Sounds excellent. So, the cabin filter, to remove the cabin filter, we have to remove this cover here so we get access to it. So, to remove it, these little tabs right here, little screws, you can just use your hand and, and loosen it up and this whole thing falls off, it will, which will expose cabin filter that is tucked in right there so all we have to do is remove this silt, this white cover and it should pop right out so now you can tell the difference between the new cabin filter so nice clean refreshing really mm, feels good too and uh that uh that dirty one so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this new one in so <clears throat> you kind of have to wiggle it up in there but once you get it in it should be fine now all we have to do is put this plastic cover back on but you want to make sure you put it into this angle where the the tab where you removed it earlier is on the right side. And once you have that, all you have to do is slide and it locks in. And there you go. It's nice and secured. So the last thing I want to do is to add 
a fuel injector cleaner. This is highly recommended for anyone who has a direct injected engine. The reason being is because um, direct injected the, um, engines tend to produce a lot of carbon. For me, I like to add this every other oil change. It just tends to be a habit I have and uh, it worked pretty well, mainly because I've done it f with my Volkswagen and it wasn't that bad. And with that, we're done. Pretty much done everything for my preventive maintenance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with more of my videos coming in. And have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and love your family.